How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back with another video today. We're not playing a game. Something quite massive has happened today or been announced today in the car industry, the automotive industry. And I want to do a video talking about it because it's quite insane. Believe it or not, Bugatti have managed to modify their Bugatti Chiron and made it go 304.8 miles per hour, which for anyone wondering is 490.4 kilometers an hour. This is a new record in terms of a hypercar hitting 300 miles an hour for the first time. In today's video I'm going to show you the clip or show you the footage of the car doing so, talking about the modified Chiron that they did it in and saying what I think might happen in the future as well. So if you want to know all you need to know about this achievement in the video, this is the ideal video for you since I've not seen many people kind of talk about the Chiron that they did it in. Although people might be like, oh, well, they had to modify the Chiron to make it hit 300 miles per hour. Although you're correct, they honestly didn't have to modify it as much as you'd think. So before we get to the actual video of this car hitting 300 plus miles an hour, let me tell you a bit about the car and how it was modified. And possibly something interesting about Forza Horizon 4, maybe. It, it depends. We'll see. So as I said earlier, this is the first hypercar to break the 300 miles per hour mark. Back in 2007, the SSC, I believe it's the SSC Ultimate Aero, hit 256 miles an hour in a two-way average. And then in 2013, the Hennessy Venom came up and did 270 miles an hour two-way average and then last no two years ago now the Koenigsegg era RS came out of nowhere and did 277 miles an hour two-way average along with hitting 284 as the highest now 305 miles an hour from the Chiron is not a two-way average that's just the standard run even though it has still smashed the Agera RS by over 20 miles an hour, it'll be interesting to see what the two-way average is for this modified Chiron. Now, unfortunately, there's not many pictures of the Chiron. There's just a couple of cinematic clips, but you can see a couple of the new features in the video. The Bugatti is modified through the following. It is 20 centimetres longer, so it's basically a longer tail version of the standard Chiron. It's got laser-controlled ride height, and it's set lower to reduce the drag. And it gives the impression that the car's melting into the tarmac, is what they say. And one of the coolest and weirdest um, modifications to the Chiron is, if you look at the rear, it's got over and under shotgun tailpipes. Now this, let's be honest, it doesn't really suit the Chiron, but it's not meant to for a car like this. And something that I was quite shocked at is the rear wing and the air brake have been completely removed with a static one recessed into the tail. I didn't think they'd go through the extent of completely removing the rear wing and the air brake. And then along with that, it's just come to sort of some weight reduction. The, it doesn't have a passenger seat. Um, it's been replaced with like computer type stuff, so technology. And to be honest, they've actually added weight by adding a full roll cage and just safety bits for the driver. So that was quite interesting. And basically anything that would save weight, so they've kind of done. So they've probably got rid of the radio and... Maybe the windscreen wipers, I don't know. I'm not sure if this class, this car is still classed as street legal still. I think, I think it is. I don't think it's any different from, let's say, a Bugatti Divo. But they've just gone to ham with weight reduction so they can add a roll cage without it making it too heavy. Now, the engine itself is obviously the 8 litre W16 and it only produces 1,578 horsepower. And the reason I say only is that's only, I think it's less than 100 horsepower more than the standard Chiron. And along with that, it's got the standard gearbox and the standard all-wheel drive system as well. So when they're saying modified Chiron, all they mean is modified aero a bit to keep it, to keep it good at high speed, and then a lot of weight reduction. In terms of the engine and the gearbox, that seems mostly untouched, which is quite impressive. And something else that I noticed on the actual video, I don't think this was noted down anywhere, is for some reason on the bonnet they've got these little, they've got nine circles on the left and the right. I've no idea what that could be, probably something to do with aero or cooling or something like that. Kind of looks like a teenager's face. But other than that, it looks fairly standard. It doesn't look like your typical high-speed dragster car. It just looks like a Chiron that's a bit longer with the odd bit removed and weight reduction, really. So anyway, blah, 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 enough of my talking. Let's have a look at the clip. The clip should just be rolling up to the actual driving part now. So I'm going to mute the camera, turn off the face cam so you can enjoy this Bugatti Chiron sound at 305 miles per hour. Let's have a look. <laughs>
To get everything worked together in one moment and to head for the 300 mile boundary, it was like heading for the, for the pinnacle of automobile competition. So as you can see here, the official speed that they hit was 304.77 miles an hour and 490.48 kilometers an hour, which is only 10 kilometers an hour away from the 500 kilometers an hour mark. I didn't think we'd get anywhere near 500 kilometers an hour. I love that clip. There's no unnecessary commentary or any rubbish like that. You may have seen a few days ago, Bugatti, sorry, Top Gear did a review or some kind of top speed test on the Chiron and they got to like 200 and I can't remember what speed they got to now because the video was obviously boring. And out of nowhere, they've just produced this nice high quality video, no stupid commentary or anything on the driving, just pure driving footage, 305 miles an hour. It's brilliant. Now there's a couple of things that I think that this achievement might turn out in the next couple of months. We all saw that two years ago the Bugatti Chiron set the world record for the fastest 0 to 400 km an hour back down to zero again and it was an official world record. I can't remember the time that they did it in but it only took a couple of months or even weeks for Koenigsegg to try it in their Koenigsegg Agera RS and they smashed the Koenigsegg's record, smashed the Bugatti's record, sorry, by 10 seconds, I think it was, which is a huge amount of time. It's massive. And this is also when the Agera RS went 284 miles an hour. So are Koenigsegg going to do the classic hold my beer thing? Are Koenigsegg within the next few months going to take the Koenigsegg Agera RS out again with a bit of modification and see how fast they can make it go? Now, I personally think they might struggle because I don't know if Koenigsegg are allowed to use this track that Bugatti have been given. I believe the Koenigsegg had to use some of the roads over near the Salt Flats or something like that. We all know what video I'm on about of it hitting 284, but it's got another 20 miles an hour to go to beat the Chiron. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be very difficult. Now, another thing that's kind of sort of related to this that I want to kind of mention is most people that are watching this like Forza Horizon 4, because I'm a Forza Horizon 4 channel mainly. It'll be interesting to see if Playground Games do anything about this, because technically the modifications on this Chiron are weight reduction and a bit of aero, not even any engine mods. So it depends how nice Playground Games are feeling. Are they going to add the ability for the Chiron to do 300 miles per hour if you upgrade the hell out of it, give it some weight reduction and stuff like that it'll be quite interesting i think the reason they've not done this to start with is because there's been no proof that the chiron can do that but now there's absolute proof that the chiron can do 300 plus miles per hour with a bit of modifying maybe they'll add it maybe they'll add it to forza horizon 4 it'll be quite interesting so guys i hope this video has been interesting to you all it's a bit of a different one but this is a massive achievement in the the car industry in my opinion and i wanted to do a video talking about it and kind of just showing it off because not many people i've seen at all have you know done a video on it and explained the details of it so i thought i would so let me know in the conversation below what you think Koenigsegg might turn out and do, what you think bugatti's two-way average might be because that'll be interesting i'm personally predicting up, upwards of 290 miles an hour I think they'll manage in a two-way average if they do it. So yeah, anyway guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more automotive content and I'll see you all later.